Alright, the time has finally come. Welcome back everyone to another Psych Reacts video. Today we are looking at the Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard trial where they are suing each other for defamation. Defamation means damaging one's good reputation, otherwise known as slander. Johnny Depp is suing Amber Heard on a 50 million dollar trial for an opinion piece that Amber wrote about him abusing her. So let's go ahead and learn the overview of this whole trial. These two are back in court again in a he said she said battle with 50 million dollars at stake okay real fast now it is a he said she said battle which is going to be very difficult for one to come out the winner this means that whoever has the most accurate information the most accurate evidence is the one who will end up on top of this case so this whole case is finding out who the liar is and catching them in those lies she goes yeah, he threw a phone at me and hit me. And I'm going, where? I don't see a, a cut, a bruise, swelling, redness. So Amber claims that Johnny Depp was abusive. Now this is going to be very hard for her to prove without solid evidence. Johnny Depp is a well-known actor in Hollywood and all around the world. He is, he is the star of Pirates of the Caribbean as Captain Jack Sparrow. Fans love him, people love him, people love the character and the movie, so it's going to be really hard to prove that he is abusive when he is well-loved around the world. She's going to need some solid evidence, some pictures, some videos, some audio recordings, anything of the sort to prove that Johnny Depp was actually abusive in the relationship. Now Johnny is trying to say that she abused him mentally which is even harder to prove considering that there would be no wounds. So let's go ahead and continue this video. That's Amber diligently taking notes today and smirking as Johnny listened intently to their former friend and neighbor brought to tears defending him. It's not right what, ha what she did and what happened for so many people to get affected. It's insane. Johnny beat me up really good this time. Yesterday, both exes appeared emotional as the jury heard Amber's graphic claims. He ends up assaulting her and sexually assaults her. Now she claims that Johnny Depp is very physically abusive. She is going to need hard evidence in order to prove this. Now I haven't been keeping up with the full trial. This is just like an overview to get us started in this trial. So I don't know exactly what's happening as of right now, but we're gonna go further into this case as the weeks go on. Therefore, what I'm saying is that I'm not sure whether she has the evidence or not right now. Plus so far in this clip, there only seems to be witnesses that are on Johnny's side. So we have not yet seen Amber's side from this video. So let's go ahead and keep watching and see what his sister has to say. The first witness, Johnny's sister, Christy. She booked the couple's travel and told the court she would reserve an extra hotel room for Johnny to escape when he and Amber fought. Depp looked solemn as she also testified about their abusive mother, explaining that Amber often triggered Johnny. She called him an old fat man. All right, a lot of things to unpack in just that little bit of time. <laughs> um, the first thing is that his sister has to book an extra hotel room for Johnny when Amber and Johnny fight. So already we can see that they have a toxic relationship. For his sister to have to book an extra room just for one to escape the other party, that already shows you that they get into fights a lot and it seems to get to a point that is very toxic. Now the second point is that Johnny's sister mentions that Amber reminds him of his abusive mother. Now, I just want to throw some ideas out there, speculate a little bit. This is not the truth. This is not anything of solid evidence. This is just me speculating. Now, if Amber does remind Johnny of their abusive mother, it is possible that he becomes abusive. Now, the only thing to prove that would be one for Amber to have evidence of bruises and be that it was Johnny who did those bruises. The other would be how Johnny acted around his abusive mother. Was Johnny reserved around his abusive mother or did he lash out at back at her? If he did lash out back at his mother, then it's possible he would lash back out at Amber Heard. However, if he was more reserved and just kind of closed off when it comes to his mother's abuse, then it is more likely that he was not abusing Amber. Also, since she is calling him names, that is evidence of mental abuse. However, it is very, very difficult to prove that mental abuse. Physical abuse is easier to prove because there would be marks, there would be bruises, there would be hospital trips, all of the sort. 
but mental abuse is all up here and it is all vocal or typed out. Now, some people believe that Amber is making all of this up and it would be easier to prove, quote unquote, prove that he was physically abusing her. She would have the better angle. For Johnny to say that Amber is mentally abusive, it becomes more difficult for him, however more believable. To sum up, it would be easier to argue physical abuse as a woman. It would be more difficult to argue mental abuse as a man. Therefore, leaning toward Johnny actually telling the truth and Amber lying about the situation. Amber's attorney repeatedly mentioned Depp's alleged substance abuse issues showing text messages. Stop drinking, stop coke, or stop pills. You wrote those words to Mr. Depp, right? I wrote those words. Now, Johnny's substance abuse has never been hidden and he never tried to hide it. Now, just because he is a substance abuser does not mean that he is a physical abuser. Alcohol, drugs, all of the sort can potentially increase someone's physical rage in a situation of arguments. However, just because he's a substance abuser does not mean that he is a physical abuser as well. He was hitting me hard and repeatedly. Johnny says Amber's 2018 op-ed calling herself a domestic violence victim damaged his career. The Pirates of the Caribbean star claims he was dropped from the fifth sequel after the op-ed was published. He was also let go from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. I do not fight out of hatred. Johnny had actually only done a day's filming, I think on his own. Depp, whose films grossed more than 10 billion across two decades, testified in 2020 that he was $100 million in debt. Both exes are set to take the stand. All right, so from that whole snippet, we kind of see that Johnny has the most to lose. He lost a lot from Amber Heard's op-ed piece that she wrote in 2018. Once that piece got out and rose to the publicity that it has achieved, Johnny lost his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the fifth sequel of Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, they mentioned that his movies acquired $10 billion of profit. So, with Amber Heard's op-ed piece, he lost so much from that. Disney stopped working with them. He lost his role in the next movie which would have been a lot more money for Johnny Depp. However, Amber Heard only lost a little bit. So she has a lot less to lose because Johnny Depp is already an established name. He's an established character. And now he no longer gets to be Captain Jack Sparrow. So this is just a little overview of the whole case. We're going to jump into more detail as the weeks go on. So make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the future videos. If you did enjoy this video and you're excited to see my reaction to the upcoming trial highlights, make sure to drop a like down below. It helps the video out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know anything important that you think I should check out and I will definitely do so. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.